Do you have trouble sleeping? Today I'm going to show you one yoga posture, three different ways for the best night's sleep. I am Dr. Melissa West, host of Yoga with Melissa, real yoga for real people, so you can move better and feel better and connect with your true nature. Today I am a guest here on Rachel's channel where she offers self-massage and corrective exercises. If you're new to Rachel's channel, be sure to subscribe. She puts out some of the best self-massage that I've ever come across on YouTube. It's helped me so much with my neck pain and shoulder pain and headaches, so I would love for you to benefit from that as well. And if you like today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you like about it in the comments. And also, if you like it, come on over to my channel because Rachel has done an amazing video that's similar to it over on my channel. She does a self massage to help soothe you to sleep. So make sure you come on over to my channel and see her video as well. So maybe you have trouble falling asleep or you fall asleep and you wake up or you're going through a particularly stressful period of time in your life. You're going through maybe a divorce or a move or maybe you're on particular medications or you have arthritis or restless leg syndrome, or maybe you've had insomnia for a long time. There can be lots of reasons why you're having trouble sleeping, but no matter what, having insomnia or trouble sleeping is stressful. So today I'm going to show you one yoga pose, three ways to help you get the best night's sleep. So the first pose that I'm going to show you is child's pose. Well, I'm only going to show you one pose. The pose that I'm going to show you is child's pose. The first way I'm going to show you is in a twist to help to relieve tension from your spine and to relieve toxins from your body. So you're going to come into child's pose and then you're going to thread your left hand between your right wrist and your right knee. So you come into a twist. Now if this bothers your knees and ankles, you can always take it on your back and do a recline twist instead. Okay, so the second variation is straight up child's pose, nice wide knees coming forward. This position just really calms your mind and relieves stress. And again, if this variation bothers your knees and your ankles, you can always take it on your back, lie on your back with your knees to your chest with wise, nice wide knees. The final version that you can do is a breath practice in child's pose called three-part breath. So you'll come into child's pose here or on your back again. And you're going to breathe first into your belly. Pause, breathe into your rib cage. Pause, breathe into your upper chest. Pause and be full of air. And then exhale. So breathe into your belly. Pause, breathe into your rib cage. Pause, breathe into your upper chest. Pause, and then exhale. So this breath actually has the feeling of when you do that long, smooth exhalation, it's like rocking yourself or falling to sleep. It's very calming. It reduces anxiety and stress. So it's a great one to help prepare your body for sleep. So let me know in the comments which variation of child's pose was most calming for you, which one you think you'll try to help you for sleep. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to Rachel's channel. She puts out great content for self-massage. And come on over to my channel and see the self-massage she did for you to help soothe you to sleep. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.